Hello and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before we get started, I'm going to read our customary blessings and prayers. Blessed art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Lord our God, sweeten, our, sweeten the words of your Torah in our, in our mouths and in the mouths of all your people Israel. May we and our offspring and the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Lord our God. <coughs> Who teaches Torah to his people. Blessed are you, Lord, our God, King of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Lord, giver of the Torah. May the Lord bless you and keep watch over you. May the Lord make his presence enlighten you and may he be kind to you. May the Lord bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Hashem Yeshua. Amen. Tonight's reads are Deuteronomy 33, 1 through 34, 12. Joshua 1. 1 through 18, Matthew 17, 1 through 9, Luke 9, 28 through 36, 24, 44 through 53, 1 Thessalonians 5, 1 through 11, Jude 1, 3 through 10. Deuteronomy 33, 1 through 34, 12. This is the blessing with which Moses, the man of Elohim, blessed the people of Israel before his death. He said, Yahuwah came from Sinai <clears throat> and dawned from Sire upon us and shone forth from Mount Paran. And he came from the ten thousands of holy ones with flaming fire at his right hand. Yes, he loved his people. All his holy ones were his. <clears throat> were in his hands, so they followed in your steps, receiving direction from you. When Moses commanded us a law as a possession from the assembly of Jacob, this Yahweh became king of Jeshurun. When the heads of the people were gathered, all the tribes of Israel together, let Reuben live and not die, but let this man be few. And this he said to Judah, Hear, O Yahweh, the voice of Judah, and bring him in to his people. Which your hands contended for him, and be a help against his adversaries. And of Levi he said, Give to Levi your Thumen <coughs> and your Urim to the Holy God, whom you tested at Massah, with whom you quarreled at the waters of Meribah, who said of his father and mother, I regard them not. He disowned his brothers and ignored his children, for they disobeyed. They observed your word and kept your covenant. They shall teach Jacob your rules and Israel your law. They shall not put incense before you. The whole burnt offerings on your altar. Blessed, O Yahweh, his substance. And, and accept the works of his hands. Crush the loins of his adversaries and those who hate him, they, that they not rise again. Of Benjamin he said, The beloved of Yahweh dwells in safety. <clears throat> the high Elohim surrounds him all day long and dwells between his shoulders. And of Joseph he said, Blessed by Yahweh be his land, with the choicest gifts of heaven above and the death deep that crouches beneath. With the choicest fruits of the sun and the rich yield of the months, with the finest produce of the ancient mountains and the abundance of the everlasting hills, with the best gifts of the earth in its fullness. <clears throat> In the favor of him who dwells in the bush. May the rest may these rest on the head of Joseph, on the hat of him who is prince among his brothers, a firstborn bull. He has majesty, and his horns are the horns of a wild ox. With them he shall gore the peoples, all of them, to the ends of the earth. <clears throat> they are the ten thousands of Ephraim, and they are the ten thousands of Manasseh. And of Zubilin he said, Rejoice, Zubilin, and you're going out, and Essachar, in your tents. They shall call the peoples of to their mountain. <coughs> there they offer right sacrifices, for they <coughs> draw from the abundance of the seas and the hidden treasures of the sand. And of God he said, Blessed be he who enlarges Gad. Gad crouches like a lion. <coughs> He tears off arm and scalp. He chose the best from the land for himself. 
For there was the commander's portion was reserved. <clears throat> and he came with the peoples of, with the heads of the people, with Israel, he executed the justice of Yahweh. <clears throat> and his commandments for Israel. And of Dan he said, Dan is a <clears throat> sorry, Dan is a lion's cub that leaps from Bashan. And of Naphtali he said, O Naphtali, sated with favor and full of blessings of Yahweh, possess and take the south. <clears throat> and of Asher he said, Most blessed of son be Asher. Let him be the... <clears throat> oh, tonight's not going to be, it's going to be one of them nights. Let him be the favorite of his brothers, and let him dip his foot in oil. Your bars shall be iron and bronze, and your as your days so shall be, so shall your strength be. <clears throat> There's none like Elohim, O Jeshurun, who rides through the heavens to help, to your help, through the skies in His majesty. The eternal Elohim is your dwelling place, and underneath are your everlasting arms. And He thrust out the enemy before you, and He said, Destroy. So Israel lived in safety. Jacob lived alone in a land of grain and wine, whose heavens dropped down dew. Happy are you, O Israel. Who is like you, a people saved by Yahweh, the shield of your help, and the sword of your triumph? Your enemies shall come fawning to you, and you shall, treat, you shall tread upon their backs. <coughs> Then Moses went up from the plains of Moab to, to, to Mount Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, which is opposite Jericho. And Yahweh said to him, All the land Gilead as far as Dan, all Naphtali, the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, all the land of Judah as far as the western sea, and they gave the plain, that is, the valley of Jericho, the city of the palm trees, as far as Zor, and Yahweh said to him, This is the land of which I swore to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. I'll give it to your offspring. I have let you see it with your eyes, but you shall not go over there. So Moses, the servant of Yahweh, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of Yahweh. <coughs> and he buried him in the valley in the land of Moab, opposite Beth Peor. But no one knew the place of his burial to this day. Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eyes were undimming, and his vigor unabated. And the people of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab thirty days. Then the days of weeping and mourning for Moses were ended. And Joshua the son of Nun was, for, was full of the spirit of wisdom, for Moses had laid his hands on him, so that the people of Israel obeyed him and did as Yahweh had commanded Moses. And there has not arisen a prophet since, in Israel like Moses, whom Yahweh had <coughs> knew face to face, none like him, for all the signs and the wonders that Yahweh had sent to him in the land of Egypt to Pharaoh and to all his servants and, and to all his land, and for all the mighty power and all the great deeds of terror that Moses did in the sight of Israel. Joshua 1, 1 through 18 after the death of Moses, the servant of Yahweh, Yahweh said to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, Moses, my servant is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, you and all, the, all this people, into the land that I am giving them to the people of Israel. Every place that you set your, your foot will tread upon, I have given to you, just as I promised to Moses. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the great river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites and the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your territory. No man shall be able to stand before you in all the days of your life, just as it was with Moses. So I will be with you. <coughs> I will not leave or forsake you. Be strong and courageous, for you shall cause this people to inherit the land that I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous. Be being careful to do according to the law that Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or the left, that you may have good success wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, and you shall meditate it 
Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Have I not, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened, and do not be dismayed, for Yahweh your Elohim is with you wherever you go. And Joshua commanded the officers of, his, of the people, Pass through the midst of the camp and command the people, Prepare your provisions. For within three days you are to pass over this Jordan and take possession of the land that Yahweh your Elohim is giving you to possess. And to the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, Joshua said, <clears throat> Remember the word that Moses, the servant of Yahweh, commanded you, saying, Yahweh your Elohim is providing you a place of rest and will give you this land. Your wives, your little ones, and your livestock shall remain in the land that Moses gave you beyond the Jordan. But all the men of valor among you shall pass over armed before your brothers and shall help them. Until Yahweh gives rest to your brothers as he has to you. <clears throat> and they also take possession of the land that Yahweh your Elohim is giving them. Then you shall return to the land to take... <clears throat> then you shall return to the land of your possession and shall possess it. The land that Moses, the servant of Yahweh, gave you beyond the Jordan toward sunrise. <clears throat> and they answered Joshua, All that you have commanded us, we will do. And wherever you send us, we will go. Just as we obeyed Moses in all things, so we obey you. Only may Yahweh your Elohim be with you as he was with Moses. Whoever rebels against your commandment and disobeys your words, whatever your commandment shall be put to death. <clears throat> Whatever you command him shall be put to death. Only be strong and courageous. Matthew 17, 1-9 And after six days, Yeshua took with him Peter and James and John his brothers and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them. And his face shone like the sun and his clothes became white as light. And behold, there appeared to them Moses and Elijah talking with him. And Peter said to Yeshua, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you and one for Moses and one for Elijah. <clears throat> he was still speaking when, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell on their face and were terrified. But Yeshua came over and touched them, saying, Rise and have no fear. When they lifted up their eyes, they saw no one but Yeshua only. And as they were coming down the mountain, Yeshua commanded them, Tell no one of the vision, until the Son of Man is risen from the dead. Luke 9, 28-36 Now about eight days after these sayings, he took with him Peter and John and James and went up the mountain to pray. And as he was praying, the appearance of his face was altered and his clothing be clothing became dazzling white and behold two men were talking with him Moses and Elijah who appeared in glory and spoke of his departure which he was about to be accomplished at Jerusalem now Peter and those who were with him were heavy with sleep but when they came fully awake they saw his glory in the two men who stood with him and as the men were de were parting from him Peter said to Jesus <coughs> Mas master it is good that we are here. Let us take three let us make three tents for you. One for you and one for Moses and one for Elijah. Not knowing what he said, as he was saying these things, a cloud came and overshadowed them, and they were afraid as they entered the cloud. <clears throat> and a voice came out of the cloud saying, This is my son, my chosen one, listen to him. And the voice had spoken, Jesus was found alone. And they kept silent and told no one in those days anything of what they had seen. Luke twenty four forty four through fifty three. Then he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. <clears throat> then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and said to them, Thus it is written, that Hamashiach should offer should suffer, and on the third day rise from the dead. And that repentance and forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem, your witnesses to all these things. 
And behold, I am sending you the promise of my Father upon you. But stay in the city until you are clothed with the power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany. And lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he blessed them, he parted from them and was carried up into the heavens. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And were continually in the temple blessings from Elohim. 1 Thessalonians 5, 1-11 Now concerning the times and the seasons, brothers, you have no need to have anything written to you. For you yourselves are fully aware of the day that the Lord will come like a thief in the night. While people are saying, There is peace and security, then sudden destruction will come upon them as labor pains come upon a pregnant lady. <clears throat> and they will not escape. But you are not in darkness, brothers, for on that day a surprise for that day to surprise you like a thief, for you are children of light, children of the day. We are not of the night or of the darkness. So then let us not sleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who, are, who get drunk are drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober. Having put on a breastplate of faith and love for a helmet of hope of salvation. For Elohim has not destined us for wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Yeshua HaMashiach, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we might live with him. Therefore, encourage one another to build one <coughs> another up, just as you are doing. Jude 1, 3 through 3-10 Beloved, Although I was eager to write you about your common salvation, <coughs> I found it necessary to write appealing to you to contend for the faith that I <coughs> that was once for all delivered to the saints. For certain people have crept in unnoticed who long ago were destined for this condemnation, ungodly people who perverted the grace of our Elohim into sensuality and deny our only Master, the Lord Yeshua Hamashiach. Now I want to remind you, although you once fully knew it, that Yeshua, who saved the people out of the land of Egypt afterward, destroyed those who did not believe in the angels who did not stay within their own position of authority, but left their proper dwelling. He has kept in eternal chains under glory, darkness, until the commandment of the great day, just as Saddam and Gomorrah of the surrounding cities, which likewise indulged in sexual immorality and persuaded unnatural desire. Serve as, serve as an example by undergoing a punishment of eternal fire. Yet in like manner these people do. These people also, relying on their dreams, defile the flesh, rejecting authority and blaspheming the glorious ones. But when the archangel Michael, contending with the devil, was disputed about the body of Moses, he did not presume to pronounce a blasphemous judgment, but said, The Lord rebuke you. <clears throat> but these who blaspheme all that they do not understand, and they are destroyed by all all that they, like unreasoning animals, understand instinctively. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to be a light to the nations, and who gave us Jesus, our Hamashiach, the light of the world.